You too, what's up? Kick, what's up? Hold on, you too, just give me one second. I gotta change this stuff up real quick. Fluff! Sorry for my people are listening to your ears. YouTube, I just wanted to say this right quick. My question to everybody is, do we love women? My answer to that is going to be no. And hear me out. Obviously, this is not every instance. I do think for the most... I, I, don't, I, I don't even know if I want to say for the most part anymore. I think us men, and I'm going to talk to the men right now. Man, I don't, I think that we have. Hold on a second. I think that we have missed the point when it comes to uh, loving women. What has happened now is men talk about being noble and protecting women and doing all these things, and I don't think most men are out there trying to be malicious to women. But I do think men, most men now, think about sex before they think about, about almost anything. Like, imagine you, and I'm just going to take it there. Imagine you help a woman fix her car, right? And you're, you're a single man. Um, what are you thinking in your mind? Let's just be honest. I'm not here to judge. But if you go and help a woman with her car, right? Let's say you go help her at her house, fix her car. What are you expecting in return? A date? Sex? Oral sex? manual sex what are you thinking and i used to think to myself man men don't do that and i think there's a lot of average guys out there who who might not necessarily think like that because they're single because most men ages 18 to 29 are single now at 63 percent because they've just given up and i know sometimes we want to blame women for that and because women have become we all obviously all of us are on the blame because we all run society it's not just a woman ran society all of us played a role um but i think that we have gone over the hill where too many women don't want men right they want men with money they blah 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 blah. who cares you know i don't even have a problem with that i really don't care that much about if a woman wants money or if she wants to be with a tall guy or a guy with abs I, don't, I think men get too insecure about that. If they don't want you, they don't want you. Who cares, man? I understand that we do have to talk to other men about these things and tell them, hey, look, it is what it is. You know, we can teach the lesson. We can have these conversations with women, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I do think that the love that we used to have for women has kind of died down. Um, there's only two options we now have. Either we don't like women anymore because we think their expectations are too high or two the women we do like our only main objective is to have sex with them um that's why when every time you hear about can men and women be friends the answer always becomes no now because the same thing always happens the, if you get the woman and be like hey I, get, I i i bet you i bet you to call one of your guy best friends and then ask him if he wants to have sex and every time these women would do this on the dumb youtube channels or whatnot the guy always says yeah let's have sex and I've talked about this before. I think men have become more animalistic. And that's not to the fault. That's just not out of the thin air. It's not like men have become dumber. I'll say it and I'll say it again. We obviously know what the what really going on, but we'll save that. You know, we know what's really going on. But just to put it in more logical terms, um, not logical terms, but to put it in simpler terms, what has happened is we have been conditioned to act like to stay childlike men aren't being taught to think anymore 
we're either taught to go out of our way for women or taught to forget women and what this has been and i always going to touch on this i always am pornography and uh sex addiction and uh sexual and sensual tv shows even facebook has become sensual instagram has obviously been sensual and sexual for a while and twitter is obviously the most sexual of them all because twitter can literally has porn on there um the more and music is a big part of it too as hip-hop has become bigger and bigger amongst all races in america um in the thing we have seen in hip-hop and the things we have seen in our music and the thing we're seeing in videos now is the sex has become a talking point or almost the center point of a lot of songs like i don't want to have sex with her i just want her neck and the guy the women will say the same thing with him uh i don't want him unless he's this big and i don't want him i don't want it i only want him to give me a head um i want he wants me because he thinks my booty's fat um it's just like and here's a good example of this actually that song um the boy's a liar the boy's a liar if you really look at the lyrics of that song the original song isn't about because i think some people think about the song is like the boy saying he's a liar because he does want to have this girl or, or he's a cheater um but the song is about a girl who doesn't think she looks good enough for a guy right it's, 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 it's that's what she's talking about she's like the boy's a liar he's saying that he's saying all this but i know it's not true uh, but then Ice Spice came in there and made the song way more sexual than it originally was. She came in there and showing booty and talking about how her booty is fat and all this kind of stuff. And what they're doing to Ice Spice, by the way, is uh, absolutely disgusting. Ice Spice is a young woman. Ice Spice ain't 37. Ice Spice is young. Matter of fact, while we're here, let's see how old Ice Spice is. What they're doing to that young woman and how they're sexualizing her is just disgusting. It's all for views. And I'm sorry that she's getting used like that. Um, Ice Spice is 23 years old, man. She's born in 2000. And that's what I'm saying. Like, she may have started out just to make drill music and all that kind of stuff. But what they took was a woman with a big booty and then made her sexual. Like, it, it's, it's, it's sad because I want to be a logical man. Just because a woman has a big posterior doesn't mean she has to be sexualized. But no matter what we do now, no matter how we all think, all of us young men and all of us uh everybody just thinks about sex so much they can't even look past it it's like the body i understand there's attractive women out there and attractive bodies but it's like we can't look past it we can't even fight the feeling as soon as we see a woman who looks good or has a big booty we immediately got to sexualize her and that's what they did to ice spice do we i don't even think anybody cares about her and i mean that in a sad way like I don't know Ice Spice, none of us do, unless we're a close friend of hers, and, but none of us even know what she's going through or how her life is, if she struggles with this or that, or if her life's going great. We don't know because all we think about is, man, she got a big booty though. And she just gets videos made about her, about her having a big booty and how she's being used. And it's so sad for her because she may have had these dreams and aspirations, but she can't get past it because, she, because of the way her body looks, right? And it, it's sad that i know this is going to continue to go on but i think we need to have more women come out and i'm going to be honest i used to be one of those guys who didn't listen i used to be one of the guys who didn't listen to the women who were like man dang we sexualizing her again i remember somebody who was talking about kendrick lamar when he was talking about uh having sex with a woman on his couch in that humble song and she was like man does it always have to be about that does it always have to be about having sex with me on my mama's couch like can't it just be that i'm just a beautiful black woman and that's it does it have to go to sex every single time? And I, I I don't know. I don't think Kendrick Lamar does that kind of stuff anymore. I don't know. But I think this that, that, that really sticks in my head sometimes. Like, is it always about sex? I understand that sex is a part of life. It should only be a part of marriage. But, man, I understand that we all have these thoughts, but they don't have to be displayed. Like, I can think, man, she's a beautiful woman. And she's got a big butt. I may think that because I'm just a, I'm a human. But I don't have to get on screen. I don't have to get on my YouTube and go, man, did you see Ice Spice? Man, her booty is big. Hello. I don't have to do that. I don't have to go every time I play a video game. If y'all notice, when I play video games, I never went out of my way to say anything about the female characters when I play Bully. And when I eventually finish Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which is going to be a while. <laughs> Hello. Um, it's going to be a while before I can finish that uh, video. But 
there's things that I'm not gonna do. Like there's things where you can have sex with the girl and all that kind of stuff, and it's just part of the game. And uh, I'm not gonna make any jokes. I'm not gonna do any of that kind of stuff. Not to grandstand or say that I'm stronger than any man. I do it because I know how weak of a man I can be. I'm not saying I'm stronger than anybody who gets on these streams. I'm not. I'm just a human being when I'm when I'm not on camera. You don't think I'm sitting here praying every single day that I don't fall into sexual sin? It's not like I'm I'm over. I, I just got it together. I don't. I'm scared to fall back into it because I know how much it ruined my life and I know how much it can ruin your lives falling into sexual sin. So I tried to stay away from that and I at one point got bad about it, but I tried to, I've always, most of my YouTube content, most of any content you've probably ever seen me make, I've normally stuck up, stood away from being sexual. Even when, and I'm not even gonna lie, even when I was making YouTube videos and I was looking at porn every day, I tried my very best never to get sexual with my videos because even though I was stuck in addiction doesn't mean that I was trying to make you guys be stuck in addiction. It, I wasn't trying to push you guys because I never wanted anybody to have this life. So I never really made sexual jokes and sexual indie-indos. And even in my normal life today, younger me would make sexual jokes with my friends. Today, I almost try to stay away from it. It's hard, but I can't think of the last time I made a sexual joke, you know, like that. Because I just know where it leads to, man. And you never want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. And you never want to make sexual jokes. Um, because it can lead to triggering thoughts. I'm just trying to get to the point where I actually love women. Um, and I mean in an actual spiritual, beautiful kind of a way. And it's hard. I'm going to flat out tell you the truth. I struggle with loving women to the full extent that they should be loved. Because I fought sexual addiction and porn addiction so long. I I have to battle so much not to even look at women. Because the women that I work with, they wear yoga pants and they just kind of wear whatever they want. It's not like a dress code at our job. And so I, as a fighter, I work with all women. I am the only guy in my department. You know what I mean? And so, well, actually, there's one more of us, but he's the other guy's the boss. <laughs> he's the top guy. I'm the only person who's just a regular employee, and the rest is all women. I work with all women, and then me. And I've done this before. At one point, I worked with it was just me, and it was a 300 to one ratio, if you can believe that. There was I worked with I think three. Yeah, because I work for nine, I, I work for this business and it was nine different sections. 300 women. And I, I was, there was two of us. There was me and another guy. So 300 women and two men. I've worked with so many women that you, you have to be on your guard so much, especially like I said, with yoga pants and all this, you just kind of have to, I'm constantly having to look up, look this way, look that way. And it, I, I might, honestly, I, every time I talk to a woman, I have to look her right in the eye. I never look around. I never let my eyes wander and I don't I, I try not to, I'm not trying to be creepy but if I talk to you if you were to meet me in a person you're a woman I'm gonna look at you just like this I'm be like hey how's it going oh yeah hope you have a great day yeah well you know yeah yeah I'm, I gotta go print that paper off yeah I'm gonna look them right in the eyes because I have to that's how I show love to women by not looking at them and I'm still learning this it's hard buddy it is super hard. And it's like I said, it's to the point where I don't I can't remember the last time I just looked at a girl's butt or anything. But it is to the point where it's kind of like I feel weird and it feels stupid, but I'm willing to feel stupid. I don't care if a girl ever sees me look away. Like if she bends over and she sees me look away, I normally wait for the girl to look at me to look back. Cause I don't care. I will do what must be done. And I'll do it forever. That's how I will show love to women. By continuing to look away. Continuing to speak on their behalf, even though I'm not a woman. I'm not going to, I guess not speak on their behalf, but speak up for them. And with the other women that speak up for them. I mainly speak to men. Right? And there's times I speak up for the men. But there's times I feel like, as a man, I also have to protect my sisters. And I'll do my best. Obviously, some of the sisters won't believe in what I'm saying. That's cool. Um, 
and some of the brothers they're not gonna believe what i'm saying it's cool but that's not the point we're here to educate i was once one of y'all out here flying by the seat of my pants wanted to have sex with everything everything and i looked at every girl's butt and i've done some things that i would find despicable today um and i did those things um but it's not that i'm a better person than any of you people all i've done is done what you're doing now i got educated i started finally listening and i still have to do that today i got people who teach me right it's hard but i just hope that one day you can sit back and ask yourself do you love women be honest peace